Fujio, Caitlin and Dishnikaz, Wabasheshi Dodam Nindao, Kenora Nindoji. Hello, my name is Caitlin and I belong to the Martin clan and um, I'm from Kenora. The question that I'm choosing to answer today for my video response is what point do I emphasize with? And the point that I would like to emphasize today are is the facts, numbers, and statistics regarding the experiences of Indigenous children and youth in this country. Um, the, the statistic that stood out the most to me that I found that was the most disturbing was the fact that more Indigenous children are incarcerated than um, making it into university. This is not okay. Um, it, it disturbs me very much that um, that the impacts of colonization are affecting people so young. Childhood is such a precious time. It is a time that is meant to be enjoyed and um, to be playing outside where young people are, childhood and adolescence are meant for where young children are supposed to be finding their identities, discovering themselves, discovering their gifts. Um, it's not meant to be thinking about suicide or ending our lives. Um, another reason that I emphasize this point is because the experiences of Indigenous children and youth today um, are going to not just impact the worldview of them of themselves, but it's also going to impact the worldview of all the children and youth that are um, ex that are living these experiences with them. Um, when children, when non-indigenous children and youth see um, indigenous children um, talking about suicide or getting into trouble with the law, um, this is how stereotypes are formed, and this is how cycles um, remain unbroken. Um, these issues need to be addressed and, um, programs need to be put in place for children, youth, Indigenous children, youth today. Um, and these issues need to be brought to light about colonization so that things can change. Miigwech.